Do you wish sometimes that you would have bought Bitcoin when it was a dollar or Ethereum when it was a dollar or maybe Axie Infinity when it was 10 cents at the ICO price or maybe Solana at the ICO price when it was 22 cents? Look at that. Even after all the crazy bear market that we have, Axie Infinity is still more than 100x from the ICO price. Solana is also more than 100x from the ICO price. And at their all-time highs, they were more than 1000x both and some other really great projects in the crypto land. Now today we're going to discuss Block Asset, another big, big opportunity and really early stage project, much more early stage than these projects that we have here like Axie and Solana. And we're going to discuss why this is pretty, pretty good opportunity now, really special opportunity. So guys, welcome once again to the AR7 channel. Smash the like button, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Today we're going to learn about why Block Asset is going to revolutionize the world and why Block Asset is really a sleeping uh, NFT Web3 sleeping giant on Solana. What is really so special about them? First of all, guys, you just have to understand that the world of sports is, is pretty major and pretty big in the in the world that we live. Okay, for example, think about it. An athlete like Cristiano Ronaldo has more Twitter follow, uh, excuse me, has more Instagram followers than people like Kim Kardashian and Ariana Grande and all the big pop culture people. And that's because basically athletes are the most uh, are, are among the most uh, famous people in the world and so many people including myself like them and want to follow what they do and how do they keep better and better so block asset is a crypto sports uh, project but now it's still super early because they're first of all we have a full-on big bear market and second because they, the product is still not ready yet, okay? So the time to buy at least Ethereum was really when it was a dollar or $10, when, I mean, the <clears throat> technology was kind of ready, but it was still such an early stage that most people didn't know about, and there were still no really new dApps and no really thriving ecosystem like Ethereum has now. So the same with Block Asset. We still don't have like the real big main utility yet for, uh, for Block Asset that is being developed at this point in time but we still already we already have the team and we already have the partnerships and it's being developed and it's going to be ready in a few years or even less so now is the absolute best time to tune in and to learn about the project now just briefly what is really so special about block asset and how should it transform anything related to sports is is over here guys so think about it like that so we mentioned cristiano ronaldo for example right so he has his instagram posts he has his twitter posts and facebook posts and things like that and you know normally it's like extremely kind of shallow not because he's a shallow person but just because he has such a crazy large following and a lot of them are trolls and like you know what i mean you can't really engage in any serious way uh, on instagram or something like that especially for a big athlete like ronaldo you know so <clears throat> all, all they can really do is just you know post some picture of a dinner they eat or something with the family or some really short tweet and stuff like that you know so this is kind of what we have right now with the web 2 which is instagram facebook and things like that with web 3 it's gonna be a little different okay so with web 3 if you'll go with block asset once uh once their pro ecosystem will be ready uh, what you will be doing more or less you'll be buying an nft plus the athlete token um, and Let's say the athlete you're interested is in is Jorge Masvidal, okay in um, uh, From MMA So let's say you purchase uh, Jorge Masvidal's nft and you purchase his uh, also his athlete tokens Okay, so you're gonna be able to join a decentralized autonomous organization of Masvidal, okay? And you're gonna be in a VIP club of financially plus emotionally invested big fans who grow together with the athlete. Now, why is that important? Because that's one of the main main differences with Web Two, okay? Because if you like, if anybody who's gonna be in your block asset Masvidal ecosystem, it's gonna be people who bought NFT and bought athlete tokens. Okay, so you're not gonna be having uh, trolls there. You're gonna be have you're gonna be having really, really big fans of the athlete and they want to engage with him. They want to buy merchandise from him or maybe training sessions or anything else from him. Um, and they're also emotionally invested because they're part of a decentralized autonomous organization and they're gonna be in the form of other similar big fans that want to help Masvidal to grow, okay? So this is absolutely different. And another big thing is that Every single um, athlete token is going to be equivalent to kind of a stock or a currency, really, of each athlete. Okay, so let's continue with the Masvidal example here. So let's say you buy the um, Masvidal uh, currency of the athlete, okay? And the more he becomes successful, I mean, he's over, maybe Masvidal specifically is not a fantastic uh, 
really example because he's already pretty successful and famous but you know maybe he'll become a big businessman or maybe he'll be similar to michael bisping or you know what i mean be like a big commentator in the future or something like that uh or you're just gonna buy his currency when it's still very undervalued you're gonna be able to grow together with him and <clears throat> uh, the more other people would want to uh like buy his token to interact or enjoy the brand of masvidal in general just because you hold the tokens you're gonna uh, you're gonna enjoy it as well because the value of your currency will increase because more people would want to buy something from uh, masvidal and one of the important tokenomics things about the athlete tokens is that once so somebody purchases um let's say a training session with masvidal some of these tokens will be burned and then you'll have less and less athlete tokens in supply so even if you just you know what i mean let's say you buy a thousand masvidal tokens and let's say you use only a hundred of these just to you know buy a training session with him or maybe facetime with him and things like that <clears throat> you're gonna be able to hold the other 900 and just because other people will be buying this token you are gonna uh the value of your token is gonna appreciate okay now the more kind of general way for you to invest is just buy block token okay because block token is the one that is going to be paired with all the athlete tokens okay so right now it's extremely undervalued because you basically don't have athlete tokens yet and you just can't really buy block token and they buy the masvidal token and then to buy your uh you know facetime with uh masvidal because it's just not ready yet it's still in development but in the future <clears throat> once block, to uh, block token will stop being so undervalued as it is right now like any new participant will have to go through block block token first so they'll have to purchase block token first and then from block token that is paired to all the athlete tokens they will have to buy the mass vidal token and then they'll have to purchase uh, on the like big nft marketplace of uh, block asset they'll have to purchase the facetime or um, you know any other thing that mass vidal wants to share so that was br really briefly what is so fantastic about block asset and why i'm bullish on it and i think it really can change the world of sports for uh, in a huge huge way and the difference i see between web 3 to web 2 is is uh, is absolutely immense when it comes to um, when it comes to sports so another thing that i like with uh block asset is they're really working on the brand uh, that they're making okay and they already have a youtube channel and uh, if you guys didn't see it yet they're having a block party every single uh week and you see there's really big big athletes joining every almost every single uh block party you've had charles Oliveira there roberto carlos um, you've had uh, Gilbert Burns, you had uh, Smash Bros recently, Darren Till and uh, Hamzat, you've had Dana White there. So, you know, they keep having big, big guests and um, many guests, you know what I mean? They're like wearing their block asset hat or if you saw before uh, before the Hamzat and uh, Gilbert Burns fight, in the Wayans, Hamzat wore uh, a bandana that is by, the Do by Dosbrak, by the designer of the NFTs. And also many NFTs also have this bandana like Hamzat wear. So bottom line is that they're kind of developing the brand over time. And it's really important really for the long term because that's kind of how brands work. You know, like the more people see the, the uh, you know, the uh, <clears throat> the symbol of block asset and they see this Dosbrek bandana that Hamzat wore and things like that, more people are going to recognize block asset, especially the MMA fans that are still not really strongly into crypto yet. But, you know, in the future, when they're going to be investing in uh, in crypto once crypto changes the world in a huge way uh they'll remember oh yeah of course block asset like hamzat was wearing that and everybody were wearing this uh, hats and things like that so that's why the brand creation is really big uh another thing is that if you guys saw it uh they, they've made the smash bros series which was a huge huge success look they have like more than a million views in one of the videos and you know this series were really really successful and just honestly that's how i got to know about block asset thanks to these series so they're, they're gonna keep making similar series and things like that so basically they're keep developing their brand and it's also super important more for the long term for many many people really to come with mass adoption once they recognize the brand okay guys now i want to share with you what is one of the main main reasons why unblock asset is so undervalued at this particular point in time right now so they already have lots of signed talents which in some are not even announced yet and uh, we're talking about top talents like in the world of sports and mo like all of them combined have around 120 million uh, worth of followers on social media so we can see it here so 
they have Wayne Rooney, one of the biggest football players in the last, uh, you know, 20 years or so. You have Giorgio Chiellini, one of the best defenders, uh, possibly maybe of all time. Alexander Usyk, the world heavyweight champion of the world. Muhammad Ali, arguably the largest uh, athlete of all time. Uh, Hamza Chimaev, a really hot prospect, a possible GOAT in the world of MMA in the future. And Michael Bisping, another MMA Hall of Famer. And that's, again, that's not even the full list. Over here you can see... There's so many more other additional athletes. Uh, there until Leon Edwards from the known, more known ones, Jorge Masvidal that we discussed today, Henry Cejudo, a lot, a lot of really top talents. So think about it. So all of them have approximately 125 million uh, followers. Now imagine like not even the 125, imagine like even only if 10% or even 5% of them will buy the tokens of the athletes. They will have to buy block first, okay? And think about it, right now the market cap is 3 million for the, um, f uh, for the circulating supply that we have right now. So think about if we just have, as we said, 10 or 5% of that, which will be, let's say 10 million, 10 million out of these 125 million people buy block token, it will be absolutely insane. Like if right now the market cap is 3 million, like, I mean, even if people will only put a dollar, obviously they'll put more, you know, you'll, maybe they'll put 100, 200 or something or more. But let's say even if they only put $1, that will increase the market cap insanely. So that's, again, one of the main reasons why block asset at this point in time is just extremely, extremely undervalued. And that's why it's so exciting to uh, either invest or at least to start learning about the project right now. Now let's go really discuss the uh, when it comes to the pricing and why is such an exciting time to invest in block asset in this particular time. So as, as you guys saw, <clears throat> these were the uh, ICO prices for some of the earlier big uh, projects in crypto. And you see like it's already more than 100x, but these projects are much more established and they already have uh, like a product that is working. Okay, so that's why they are still so much higher than other projects like block asset. But block asset guys, right now it's actually really, really close to the price of the ICO of the private sale. Okay, seven point eight dollars, uh, and <laughs> you basically can get the same price that private sale investors have invested in December, thanks to the crazy bear market we've had. Now, this this type of opportunities don't happen all of the time, but they did happen a few times, and some of the coins. Um, <clears throat> that like fell below the ICO price or they were pretty similar to the private sale price They still succeeded in a huge way. For example, phantom is a big blockchain uh, on the, in the crypto land and uh, It actually collapsed 90% less than the ICO price they had but it still did a thousand X in 2021 so uh, That's why block asset is still so early now. I just want to show another technical thing. So if you guys are not uh, uh, strongly into technical analysis, I guess that, that's where you can end the video. But if you want to understand more technically why I was really impressed with Block Asset recently dropping below uh, this uh, $7.8 um, and still kind of doing okay, that's a really fantastic technical sign, guys, because many other projects that once they fall below the uh, private sale price, it's something that scares a lot of investors off. And it didn't really happen with the block asset. Now, I mean, obviously nobody knows the future and currently we have a downtrend. So block price can even go uh, more down from the current price once again. But just the fact that it dropped below and it was able to recover uh, above 7.8 cents for block asset is a really fantastic sign. And, um, <clears throat> uh, and yeah, let me show you some examples. So Terra Luna, for example. Now I know this is a project that collapsed, but again, I'm focused on what happened just with projects that had an ICO price and once they dropped below this price, okay? So the price of Luna at ICO was 80 cents. And Luna, uh, as you guys know, like at least in 2021, it was a huge success of a product and it also did a thousand X and you were able to get rich in a huge, huge way with Terra Luna, even though it collapsed. So that's why sometimes, you know, you do need to sell and do need to take some profits once you're really up a lot. But anyway, let's see here what happened with Luna. So as we said, the ICO price was 80 cents. So at first it was much higher, but see what happened once we started getting to 80 cents. You see, it dropped here at to 70 cents and unlike block asset, it wasn't even able to reclaim the price again. You know what I mean? So once it broke to 80 cents, it didn't go to 90, it just broke it and that's it. Sayonara, you know what I mean? It didn't come back to 80 cents until the big bull run that came in 2021. 
and only here you know like that's what happens in crypto bull runs you know it just goes from 50 cents to like five dollars in like two months but anyway <clears throat> you, you know what i mean like it dropped for such a long time and eventually it still dropped to like 14 cents uh luna price that's one example another example is a more uh recent project that also launched in uh, late 2021 so their ico price was uh nine cents okay and let's have a look what happened with them so you see over here that's when they broke the nine cents so you see it kind of struggled here but again it didn't really reclaim the price to the upside like bocasa did it just kind of fell a little and you see it fell held held and then kind of fell even stronger and now it's <clears throat> one point something cents you see so that's one of the another kind of technical reason that I really like. It just shows that many people who are invested now in Block Asset, they believe in the project very strongly. And also because Block Asset keep having more and more great news. That's why even we even though we have this big bear market, Block Asset keeps bouncing back uh, and uh, doesn't just drop from this price of uh, 7.8 cents. So guys, if you appreciate this fantastic content, if you appreciate what you've learned today, and if you appreciate that you've learned about Block Asset this early, and that you literally can get the price of the private sale investors right now uh, don't forget to smash the like once again subscribe to the channel because i'm going to discuss block assets in many 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 more videos and i'm definitely going to stay with this project for a very long time and i'm really excited i really hope it's going to be successful in a huge way and i i, I hope people will find this uh, channel in the future and they'll they'll see all the videos that i was doing here about block and uh, will think to themselves why didn't I buy at eight cents? Why am I buying now at eight dollars or one dollar or something like that? So guys, thanks once again for watching this video. I appreciate anybody who comments here and who subscribes to the channel and joins me this early. Thanks you guys once again. I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic weekend and cheers as always.